Hair loss can feel like a slow erosion of confidence. But what if we could regrow hair by regenerating the follicles themselves? No pills, no transplants. Meet PP405, a new regenerative treatment that's just passed a promising phase 2A trial. Today, I'll break it down. What it is, how it works, and what it could mean for you. PP405 is an experimental treatment developed by Palash Pharmaceuticals, originally out of UCLA. Unlike current options that stimulate existing hair, PP405 may actually help regenerate new follicles by targeting hair follicle stem cells. So instead of blocking hormones or increasing blood flow, PP405 aims to activate dormant or damaged follicles directly. A totally different approach. The company just released results from a phase 2A clinical trial. Here's what they found. It involved 30 men and women with androgenetic alopecia. They applied PP405 topically once daily for 16 weeks. By the end, treated areas showed statistically significant hair count increases compared to placebo. That means more follicles were producing visible hairs and most participants tolerated it very well. No major side effects were reported. Most of the treatments we use today work only if your hair follicles are still alive. Finasteride works by lowering DHT, the hormone that causes hair to shrink. Minoxidil improves blood flow to help nourish the follicles. But here's the catch. If the follicle is already too damaged or dead, those treatments won't do much. PP405 takes a different approach. It goes straight to the stem cells inside your hair follicle, especially in a part called the bulge region. That's like the control center that tells your hair when to grow. If we can wake up those stem cells, even worn out follicles might start growing hair again. Before you go looking for it online, PP405 is not available yet. This was just a phase 2A trial, which means early stage safety and efficacy. Next comes a larger phase 2B, then phase 3. If all goes well, we could see this on the market within 4-5 to five years. If you've tried minoxidil or finasteride and saw little change, or if you're sensitive to side effects, PP405 could be a game changer. It may also help women with diffuse thinning who often have fewer treatment options. And the fact that it's topical and non-hormonal, that's a huge plus. I'm cautiously optimistic. There's still a long road ahead, but PP405 is one of the most exciting developments in years. As always, I'll keep you updated as the data evolves. Until then, if you're struggling with hair loss, don't wait. There are real solutions available right now. And the earlier you act, the better your chances.